Today, a breakthrough in the murder case of legendary rapper Tupac Shakur. An arrest has been made. Tupac had many connections in the Bay Area and lived here for a time. As ABC7 News reporter Unser Hassan explains. We are here today to announce the arrest of 60-year-old Dwayne Keith Davis. After 27 years, Dwayne Keefe D. Davis was charged with the murder of legendary rapper Tupac Shakur. For years, Davis was one of four suspects in the investigation. Davis, who lives in this house in Las Vegas, isn't the accused gunman, but authorities say he devised and orchestrated the plan and wrote about it in his 2019 autobiography. We always thought that it was in New York. Um, versus uh, LA. Well-known Bay Area attorney John Burris represented Tupac in a civil rights lawsuit against the Oakland Police Department in the early 1990s. Burris hopes this development won't trigger revenge killings. He's still surprised the case dragged on for decades. I would have thought that those would have been sufficient enough leads to move things along. Being a friend and a fan of Tupac, there's, I mean, I could pull out many, many, many songs, but of course the one that came to mind first was Dear Mama. Daryl Rory, who lives in Marin City, was a longtime friend of Tupac, well before his rise to fame. One concern he has, Davis may be in custody, but he may not be the man who fired the gun that killed Tupac. We don't want somebody just to be in jail, just, you know, to satisfy his family and satisfy the people who loved him. You know, if this guy had, was involved, then, you know, um, then, you know, so be it. But, you know, it's a bittersweet day. But on this day, Rory is focused on the legacy of his friend, the artist whose music still remains relevant today. His name is still up there. I just hope justice will be served, if not today, at some point. And um, may he rest in peace. Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.